Lungile Dick lost his hand in an accident, a life of frustration and anger. A normal operation, a normal frustration that you can't tie your own, your own shoe, you can't pick up something that you want to pick up. Um, it affects me literally when I write sometimes because I, my mind works faster than my hand and I was not right-handed. I was not left-handed, sorry, I was right-handed. So you get those depression and frustration that you normally or you used to do your own thing but now you cannot do it. He had to learn to navigate life without the use of his strongest hand. But that may be a thing of the past. Do it. Yeah, Just make sure the, the wires are in the channel. The device picks up neuroelectric signals from Lungila's forearm muscles and operates like a hand, performing tasks under his guidance. He can move his fingers and even make a fist. Back, yeah, okay. And then, back on. So if you understand the importance and the psychology of, of a person with a disability, a small thing is appreciated. With this end, I mean, it's not just a small thing. I mean, um, I can do things that ordinarily I would not do. I'll be able to pick up something. In the competition, we use the hammer. We're cutting bread. We're doing all these things. And all these things are possible. I will pick up a card and we'll be able to use it. So small as it is in somebody else's eyes, but from someone with a disability, that, that's a huge thing. Even if I can just pick up a jug to drink water, that means something. Longile attached the prosthesis to a 3D printing socket that covers and keeps his forearm stable. One of the primary aims was to create a safe, light and user-friendly prosthesis. Perfect for Lungile who does technical work at an automotive company. Many amputees struggle to use current prosthesis because they are heavy and cumbersome. And upper limb amputees tend to abandon their prosthesis because of poor functionality. There were challenges to put the device together because of COVID-19, but the students overcame these. Placed 11th out of 13 competitors at the 20 Invention Global Cybertron in Switzerland. So it was very, it was very sad to see someone struggling to do so many tasks that we have, uh, that we could do easily because obviously we have our hands, and uh, it, 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 it just shows us, it just shows how grateful we must be that we have hands. But then, also we have the knowledge in engineering to produce devices that can help him to perform tasks, maybe not as good as us, but at least he'll be able to perform the task. So I've learned a lot that engineering isn't just designing machine parts and going into to a certain specific direction. There's actually a vast um, array of directions you can go into medical and it can actually help a lot of people um, in ways you wouldn't think engineering would, would help people and touch them personally. The group says identifying areas of potential improvement was one of the most important things they gleaned on from the competition. They noticed that simpler prosthesis with fewer electric parts performed better and faster. After fixing a few mechanical bugs, they hope to start producing devices for locally underprivileged amputees. Our main target with the touch hand is to look at a local option because these guys uh, that uh, the amputees have to normally bring these uh, devices in from overseas and they are at exorbitant costs. So if we can produce something locally, not only is it good in terms of the, uh, the guys that are going to use it, but also it's very good for our country as well because it's, an, it's another avenue where we can effectively promote engineering and promote uh, manufacture in a very focused area, sure, uh, but for the country, which is going to be for the good of the country and the community. Lungile is now impatiently waiting to take ownership of this prosthetic hand. But it is not a complete unit yet. The team is now working to reduce the level of electronics and making it more robust for day-to-day -day use. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.